Today we are talking about female hygiene. Are you classy or are you nasty? Stick around and find out. Hey brave girl, how you do the things that you do? Don't mind. Hi everyone, welcome to the Brave Talk Show, the show for brave women craving the connection that comes with real conversations about the concerns and TMI details we face every day. We're your hosts. I'm Brittany. I'm Teresa. I'm Robin. And I'm Vanessa. Be sure to subscribe to join our weekly conversations. Today we are talking about female hygiene. That is some TMI. Ooh, <laughs> we're you, all a little nervous. If you didn't if you didn't get vulnerable, today you are. <laughs> today you will. But first, we have our two-minute hot topic. Robin, Ooh. what is our two-minute hot topic? Let's do holidays. Are there any holidays you love, you hate, you don't celebrate, and why? Okay, so I feel really judged for this one, but I don't decorate for Halloween. Why would you why? feel judged? Why would you for judge? That? I don't know. I oh. feel like because some I'm like, why get wouldn't so... you decorate for Halloween? There's <laughs> 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 a judgment right there. Yeah, <laughs> and I feel like so many people decorate Halloween and like get so into it. I but don't. I don't put up skeletons and no. scary stuff at my house. Like we decorate for fall, like so much so that my kids thought that Thanksgiving was before Halloween. Like one of them was like, wait, <laughs> yeah. what? We, wait what? Halloween's first. Oh like, yeah. first. We just sell we just decorate for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Okay. What's your reason fall. behind that? I just don't want scary stuff in the house. Like yeah. I don't oh. like ooey gooey. Yeah. yeah. I just you know don't what's want funny is I asked you that but I don't decorate for Halloween either. I'm so a do huge you, do you tall girl. But do you celebrate Halloween? Oh yeah. yeah. I okay. love Halloween. And we do have a future like episode stuff. where we're gonna talk about that. Yeah. yeah, like cutesy stuff, but I don't I don't do scary stuff. Actually okay. last year I did a couple little bats coming out. That was kinda of fun. But everything's yeah. pumpkin, orange, fall, mm -hmm. really neutral at my house. I don't have scary stuff. Love it. I just don't want to take it off and put it back on. <laughs> so do you so not decorate at all? Not for Halloween. <laughs> what about Christmas Halloween? though? Okay, oh, Christmas. I am a Christmas girl. I ha I do it before Thanksgiving. Oh, oh love it. Just me or not. Like Christmas yeah. tree yeah. is up on yep. Thanksgiving Day. Because I just love it. I love, I love what it brings. I love the yeah. spirit of it. Yeah. It's just like I wish it could be Christmas every day. Because I feel like we change during Christmas time. Like there's something in there us is that a just mm -hmm. that changes, you yeah. know? One time I left my Christmas tree. Up, lit, decorated till July. I love no. my. That was oh, you must have been a fake tree. I was, it was a fake tree, <laughs> but I was like super busy in life, had new kids, and so I like kept being like, I should take that. You out. beat me too. And then July came and I'm like, so it wasn't really intentional. Yeah, that that was intentional. You beat me too. I think mine's yeah. always March, yeah. and your host is like. Uh, wow. So it's before Thanksgiving and then March. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. I love it. I just love the spirit of it all. I'm yeah. like, oh. Christmas is pretty So cool. I, I love Christmas too, um, but I definitely, um, I wouldn't say there's no like holiday that we don't, but I, I don't like, I like to keep things uh, faith-based. Uh, as much as possible. So like I'll do Easter and I'll do Christmas, but there's no Easter bunny and there's no Santa. My kids okay. have never been raised on it. We do respect Ooh. other people. So my kids are not allowed oh. to go to school and tell their friends there's no Santa or no Easter bunny, like that we have to respect other people okay. and how they do things. But my kids were never raised on that. Really? So we do Easter is all about the resurrection of Jesus and Christmas is all about the birth of Jesus, that kind of a thing. Halloween, um, for years we didn't celebrate it. Now, when I say that, we, we would dress up but we would not go trick or treating. And we'll talk more about that on a future episode. We would only, we, our church would have like a, a fall festival and we would do that. We would not participate in the actual trick or treating. So Santa don't bring them gifts? So no, mom they and can dad? still get gifts. It's mama, mama and daddy. We're just very okay. straight. Like your okay. mom and dad got you the gifts, grandma and grandpa, brothers, right. sisters. And then for a couple of years, we did get into the Jewish holidays. Huh. Um, we just like learned all about them, the fall feasts, the spring feasts. And we, 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 I guess tried them out. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to sound disrespectful of it. We we explored them and celebrated them, and it was so incredible. And honestly, like, I would love to just continue doing it. It's just a lot of work, and I don't feel like without every all the family involved, like I would have to really push it. Yeah. And I just haven't got the motivation to really push it on everyone. Yeah. But I would totally totally do all of them. Wow, yeah. I love that. Can I tell That's you guys awesome. my million dollar idea? Yes. <laughs> Before I, our two minutes is up, I know, sorry. Um, I want somebody to create a company that decorates for holidays for you. Like they come to your house, <gasps> they set it up, and then after the holiday's over, they come and they take it all down That's for great. you. They store oh it in there their facility. There is that idea. It's just, Stop it. You don't, you need to go believe in 
the celebrities. That's what oh. they do. <laughs> you mean Kim Kardashian? Kim Kardashian. You're channelling it Somebody though? Somebody come, you know. I, I, I guarantee you could post on social media. But you media can do it here in Utah. And say, I'm looking for a personal assistant or someone. A yeah. holiday yeah. stager. Yeah, they do. And take I down. hate, like, I, hate I love too. Christmas, yeah. but my whole shed is Christmas. And I'm like, yeah. I don't want to store it. Mm -hmm. And then, like, my tastes <laughs> change where, like, I used you want to change years it up? Ago, yeah. I like this design. White now lights, like, rainbow lights. Yeah. What color? I change every right. year too. My cousin does decorate trees for a living. That's what she does. And there. And now, have you seen the electronic trees? You just yeah. push a button and it's like, do, 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 and it already come lit. Crazy. Oh, wait, wait. Lit. You push yeah. a button and it like sets up? Yeah. What? Whoa, I'm what? buying a new tree this year. I'm gonna. Yeah, I, I saw it too, and I was like, "Your host." I know. I'm like, I'm buying this tree this year because you just click. Oh, I'm gonna text I ain't me. Putting nothing on. That is funny. Okay. See, I I find joy in the process of the decor of decorating. That's you beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> I actually hate it. I'm gonna light my house on fire. I'm you know, so I don't mind putting up. Is it taking hey, down? Hey, Teresa, we'll pay I her. Just, I just. Hired oh, I'm not good at it though. That's the funny part. Is I'm not like I'll go to my sister-in-law's and it's like your house is amazing. I don't have. A decorative, if that's even a word. Okay, you're not hired. Uh, <laughs> I like to Fire. do it, but Take I'm not back. good at it. But I enjoy the process. And yeah, I just get taken down. Yeah. I can put yeah. up. I'm. I love it, and have the kids help, and it looks beautiful. But then it starts to take it down. I'm like, oh, you can put that away. I'll change it next year. Taste is changing next year. <laughs> My mom always made us set up Christmas as a kid, and I think she ruined me. Like I, can't, I can't even do it. Because were you expected to be perfect? Well, no, I was just expected to do it all. Oh. <laughs> and so now I'm like, I, I love oh, it. I, I love it done. <laughs> I love to do it. Mm. So I'm with you. I need to find something. That's how I feel about dishes. Okay, yeah, I, I love you. to have dishes washed, okay, but okay. I don't like to wash the dishes. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right, guys. Well, we always go over. We Zip just, it. We just love just them. Just kidding. Guys. But let's get on today's topic. Actually, I'm going to facilitate this one. They have no idea what's coming. This it's is our scary. personal mm. hygiene. Classy, Classy or nasty. Classy or nasty. Classy or nasty. <laughs> We're going to find out if these beautiful ladies are keeping themselves so fresh and so clean, clean. Or, like the or if they or are just disgusting. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm gonna fake We're gonna sip. get a classy or nasty score and we'll see who's the classiest tell you and who's the nastiest. The rules, let's start with the rules. Oh, uh -oh. No lying. B-R-A-V-E, you're brave, you're honest. Don't lie to me if you don't change your undies when you say you do. Oh. We are going to <laughs> be. you. Why do you that? Why right? if you just don't wear undies? Then you say it here and now. <laughs> wait, wait, somebody, somebody totally sent truth. me a DM message on my get out there girl asking like what kind of underwear do you wear hiking and everything and I was like oh wear underwear, underwear <laughs> and she was like oh, hiking? Okay. you don't wear underwear hiking mm -hmm. I, I, I just don't. I would just I just imagine. Don't, I don't either. You have your side. I just don't oh, wear okay. underwear. But to me, like it's still like. <laughs> no, no. Oh no! I go yeah. full commando on all my workout clothes. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I've not, I don't even own a thong. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean yeah. lingerie, yeah. but yeah, we ain't gonna put that under lacy, lacy. No, no. no, no. Yeah. I mean, but that's different. Yeah. Okay. okay you guys ready to start? I'm okay. ready. <sighs> okay. So yes. how we'll do this is we will just go around in a circle. I will also answer for myself each question. Okay. The first question: How often do you shower? Every day. I don't wash my hair every day. You do not shower every not day. not shower every day. She's going to be classy. Oh once gosh. a week. Uh, Wait, for real? Okay, no, not once a week. I'm probably... No, don't change it. No, that don't was change it. B R A V E. I'm probably on average two to three times a week. See, I'm going to go with you, Robin. I'm like three times a week. Yeah. I, I smell. I like I, smell. I I have to. Sh that, I mean, yeah. Well, you know what? You also exercise a, a lot. I exercise a lot. Oh, I don't exercise. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I exercise every single day. <laughs> She's like, oh, Robin doesn't do, do that. <laughs> You're justified. You're not. <laughs> You're not. I right. exercise every day. I'm being honest. Three times, three times a week. <laughs> yeah, I'm too. Yeah. Times and I learned something too. I saw. They say you shouldn't shower every day because yeah. it. Bad for you. We need to have the positive bacteria. That's how I'll justify myself. So I'm a two to three time a week person okay, too. Okay. But I will admit. On like really crazy weeks, I have caught myself with a one time a week shower where it's like, oh crap, Same it's the weekend me. and the last time. And I agree. So I catch myself moment. when I yeah. hit a sniff. You Thank know? you. See, so we're being honest here. But that sometimes it's on. like, but I can that, smell I would say that's not as so often. Like my two. default <laughs> is the two to three, but I will admit there are, they're, they're rock, I call them rock star weeks. Ooh. Yeah. I got everybody shower every when day. When I can like cook bacon with the grease off my hair, I'm like, I should it's a sniff. It's, <laughs> and a, it's, it's a, a sniff. sniff. It's a sniff. I know when I smell. All right. Especially so, now that you work from home, I'm like, I ain't got nowhere to go. You have your leggings on and you spread eagle and you know it's time. So, <laughs> Brittany, I want your honest answer. You're clearly classy. But clearly. do you we're think nasty. that we're nasty? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a little bit shocked. <laughs> all right. All right. So we're we all classy, know. three nasty. 
Crafty. One Crafty. I think I'm just shocked because I know, like, I will, <laughs> if I go two days, if something happened, like, I don't shower Are you hitting days? that Summer's Eve like I taught you about, episode number I one? I bought my Summer Eve. See, that's Eve. the theory. We're all Summer it's Eve, and not, that's why we could go three days. <laughs> I got and my I have other things salad. that I do. I have other things that I do that we can talk about in your future there? questions that I think it's not keep there. me. Where is it? Where? Keep me. Oh, body. There's no way a pretty There's little no thing way, like you smells. Yeah. I know. Yeah. No. And not no. now. I've got a shower. Like, even today, I'm sweaty here in this thing. There is no way I'm getting a shower yeah, in today. Yeah, me too. Heck no. <laughs> okay, this is wow. good. I'm yeah. already loving this. Okay, next question. How often? You gotta be straight with me. Don't try to fudge this. How often do you change your sheets? Oh. oh, yeah, much less often than I want no, to. No, you tell me, one at a time, how often, Brit? Go, Brittany, Miss Classy over there. Probably, oh. <laughs> Probably like every couple months. I think it's really I change months. mine when I period on them. Oh. And you know that you have to change them. You're yeah. Disgusting. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. So for me, yeah. um, I was so jealous. There was this lady that I follow, and she was like, I wash my sheets like once a week. And I'm oh like, gosh. oh my gosh. No. no, don't get me wrong. I love the idea of it. That sounds this amazing. Fresh sheets smell so um, But I just, I, who, who's got time to wash them? She, she has no kids, by okay, the way. No yeah. kids. I'm too busy washing their sheets because they pee on them all the time. Oh, that's yeah. that's yeah. Yeah. better myself. How often do you wash your kids' sheets? My kids sheet once yeah. a week. Right. I wash so my kids more often. For us, I would say, I would say like once every two or three months. <laughs> probably and and when I have I my period on. I feel so seen right now. I thought I was just disgusting, but no. we all say about a couple months. No, Malachi or the one oldest cause homicide because he, he doesn't yeah. pee. Malachi doesn't pee. The other day I was just like, he's like, my skin itches. I'm like, I probably should wash his bedding. Oh, 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 shoot. Okay, I have this new spray though, you guys. It's called like this fresh linen lavender. I hit that. I'm like, we doing good. We doing good. I think mine's one about herself like, another month. For yeah, breeze. Exactly. For breeze makes everything oh, yeah. last longer. I do it once a month. Okay, yeah, so. when you don't shower every day, then your sheets smell more, guys. Oh, there you go. Well, that's actually a very interesting true. point. Well, maybe that's okay, right. so I think once a month. according to the regular population of the world, we're all nasty on that. Yeah. I don't know. Are we on, on you the know the what? I think I our funny. audience should let us know because for all we know, we are nasty or maybe we're normal. That's true. Once that's a true. month. Every okay, but I would like to ask specifically like, Moms, <laughs> like you don't have kids, you have time to wash your clothes, all the, your bed sheets all the time. But the ones who have the kids who are very busy with those kids, are we nasty? Is is well, washing out. our sheets two to three times a week disgusting, or two to three times a month disgusting? <gasps> okay, no, 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 no. Not two to three times a year. Every, yeah, every, every two every month. month, every quarter, okay. every quarter. What's a quarter? So three times a year, uh, four times I'll a year. I'll take the nasty. I have a feeling we're going to be nasty, yeah. but I'm, I'm committed, and let's all hold hands and commit. Nasty. No, nasty. I'm not. You guys don't shower. She denies it. <laughs> you. She don't shower. So her sheets are clean smelling still two to three months because yeah. she showers. Oh, Ours are smelly. My sheets have some stuff on them. Yeah, but you have. Sex a lot. <laughs> you and yeah, your you husband have sex, have sex a, lot. a lot. Yeah. You, oh, guys, yeah. I mean, you yeah. need to clean up your sheets. I mean, have you heard know. about the sex blanket that yeah. Kristen Hobson always talks about? No. Uh, I think that's who it is. She has a sex blanket that she lays out and it does absorbing and all this stuff. Oh, link it. We'll link Ooh, it here. I want this. She needs that one. one. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I'm never having sex again after having this fifth baby. Oh, She's like, well, is oh, that out yeah. now? Yeah, right. You Did like you just, it. You're not going to be able oh, to yeah, handle nine months yeah. without yeah. him. Yeah, I'm going to become true. an advocate for condoms. I'm going to be like. <laughs> She's going to have a chastity belt on. <laughs> Locked abstinence. <laughs> Whatever. You love it. Okay, next one. How often do you change your undergarments or underwear? Oh, this is easy because I shower every day, every single day. Oh, once I, to twice a day, I change my underwear. Once to twice oh. a day? Yep. Once in the morning when I wake up, I want fresh underwear for my day, and I need fresh underwear before I go to sleep. Okay, so at night. I cannot sleep with underwear on, first of all, so there's no changing on it. But, like, I don't wear underwear. Oh, you don't wear underwear? No. So, at all? I hate it. Yes. And then you don't wear underwear to bed no either. Bra? I wear a bra, but I don't wear like panties, no, panties. bottom underwear. <laughs> 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 Nothing. Stare at her. Lately, I have it. Like yeah. for the last two years, I have it. But okay, you haven't worn Amanda. underwear. Amanda. <laughs> what about when you're wearing a dress? No. Let it be free. Okay, wow. so no. we're all gonna for try kids, this. My kids, if I'm wearing a dress, my daughter at some point is oh, lifting my gosh. dress up, sticking her head underneath. I have to like kick them out of the way. <laughs> Typically, you when I wear a dress, do I do no. wear shorts mainly because if there's a dance floor, sometimes I'm gonna like stop I and wear pop my my yeah. church stuff. Okay, Let's well, I guess that okay way. that does make sometimes. a difference, sometimes. right? That does, and I don't I don't have that. Not so that's in why the summertime. I wear pants. So I cannot do those things in yeah. summertime. Oh god. Uh, okay, so my oh, underwear <laughs> issues. I also 
go commando <clears throat> very frequently. Yeah. Um, but when you do I wear hate underwear. Unders, but when I do wear my grounder panners, <laughs> <laughs> I don't change it. Yeah, Robin's <laughs> the only one's getting a nasty on this nasty! one. Nasty! So how often do you change your underwear? Every other day at least. Every time I shower. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but listen, no, no I don't. No, you're not. No, I yeah, am. No, A B E. No, let me tell you why. And because let's say I'm wearing use, underwear. Let's say I'm wearing no, underwear with these jeans, right? Oh. Well, tomorrow when I go to the gym, you take I take off. them off because I go commando at the gym. Oh, okay. okay. So and then you put the same pair. No, back no, on? no, no, okay. no, no, no. Oh. If I put another pair of underwear on, it's fresh. It's a new fresh okay. pair. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So that let's just count. Yeah. Okay. Your commando days are fresh underwear days. Well, there's right? nothing there. But I mean, she that's a change. Every day, yeah. though. She so underwear, every day. commando. I'd probably say underwear, I'd put commando. a fresh pair of clean undies on four times a week. Oh, Would you good. wear the same pair of panties two days in a row? Nasty. Have I? Would. Yes. Do I love to? No. Got it. So it's not your default. <laughs> no. It's like, no. It's like one of those, it's one of your rock star weeks. Yes. yes got yes, it, got yes. it, got I it. I do like a clean pair. All right, right, so I feel like I, wait, did we get your answer? <laughs> Yeah, every, every day. day. Every day. And then I'm the once to twice. Every day, remember? I'm three ish times a week. And you're never because you don't wear underwear. No, well, yeah. I love it. I mean, it saves laundry. laundry. It does, yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you need to shower before having sex? No. No. I need to shower, shower before day, certain yeah. types of sexual yeah, acts. Okay, I get that. Sexy. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. I have, have you when ever I get out of the shower, there's done no it without the shower part? Like, you know they're not showering, you just do that part. My nose is way too yeah, strong. Sure. That'll traumatize yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. All the time. In yeah. an ideal world, it'd be like, put the brakes on, let's shower. But in an unideal world, you roll with it. If you're smelling, that happens that day. Yeah. Mm, that's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so raise your hand. Those are nasty. 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 <laughs> I am mortified for my mother in law to see this episode. I know. My mother in law said, Can you send me a link to your show? You're like, Still not have the it. Third week. I'm like, let me Still have I'm it. I'm like, let me show you the one, this one. Like, let me make sure, like, not, not Wait, this Wait, I, I, did I miss what you said? Do you need a shower before sex? Or, no. okay, no. never? Like, what about with certain acts? Well, it depends, like, if he's, like, just got done from the gym playing basketball, because my dude sweat like crazy. Like, that in half. Then it's then like, he needs to take a shower. Not you. Not, not me. Got yeah. It. Oh, and for, a, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, I'm laughing so hard that my throat is all scratchy now. It won't, like, if I haven't showered, those acts won't happen. Yeah. We won't just be like, hey, I really yeah. want to do that act, so will you go shower, yeah. please? Like, it's never that That's what it is. So, like, I'm like, yeah. oh, I showered today. <clears throat> we could like, do this. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. For sure. Okay. How often do you switch out your toothbrush? <clears throat> Honest here. Mm -hmm. When I go to the dentist. Every six months. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Probably, probably every six months to eight yeah. months, yeah. something okay. like that. I have the electric toothbrush. So mine's probably the most. Um, I would Just probably like say every two months. Oh, and that's any good. time I'm sick. Oh, oh that's smart. Because that's I, I yeah, your you bacteria. bacteria you're, yeah. You have a virus, and now Dude. it's on your <laughs> toothbrush. Then you're just putting it right back in your mouth. So what I do is, if I get but if I, I get a, a sick toothbrush, it's like then you can switch out the heads though, right? So anytime mm. I'm sick, what I do is um, mm. I change the toothbrush immediately, and then I have one while I'm sick, and then as soon as the cold's done, I get rid of that one, and then I use a completely new clean one. That's actually really smart. Why have I never done that? But your body is immune to it, so it's not like you're going to give it back to yourself. Back to yourself, yeah. But sometimes there's bacteria as well, and when my thoughts are, if you're already sick, and again, this is just me and my psychology. I'm not saying there's any science behind any of this, but my own psychology is if you're sick, your immune system's already low, and so that puts you at risk for bacterial anything to also. And like, why did you get sick in the first place? Because your immune system was already low enough to get sick. So it's just a good opportunity to just like get rid of all possible invaders and just get your body back up. That's to smart, That's actually. Cool. That's good. What That's about good. you? I'm, I'm the same. Rob's gonna yeah. change her toothbrush more than her underwear now. Yeah, for sure. I'm like four times a week. Change of that. Ooh, do you have a floss question in there? Because that's a logical next question. Oh, that is here. the next question. Do you floss every day? My poor dentist. No. See, I, I was a dental assistant. My brother is a dentist. I still have a work in the dental job, and I don't floss every day, man, because I have permanent retainers all across, mm. so I would have to thread. That's a lot of work. And I'm like, listen, if I get gingerbread, my brother will fat right after whatever it is. Like, so fine. I do, yeah. um, and what, what finally worked for me, because I struggled with flossing, too. Same thing. It's just a pain in the butt. Plus, it's my hard. teeth are so it's tight, yeah. and it's like, ah. 
Getting a water pick was the best yes. thing. I did. Yes. I, That's water did. Okay, so I did my water pick. That's flossing. That's flossing. That's flossing. Okay. I love my water pick. I love my water pick too. Yeah. And I, I put clove water. essential oil in it. Oh. Yes. And it uh, because my my uh, naturopath told me that clove is a natural antibiotic. Yeah. So it just helps like keep the gums. And I'll tell you, I was going to the dentist, and every time prior to my water pick with clove, I was always like getting markers for gingivitis, gingivitis, me gingivitis. Too. And then that's got my I water pick, put up cloves, yeah. and they're raving. They were like, the dental hygienists were like coming in and being like, your gums are amazing. Yeah, like your my scores are just, what are you doing? I didn't do the what gloves, but like, I just do oil you. pulling. My husband does I've that. I've done that a few times. What's yeah. that? So he drink, he has it in the shower and it's just um, oil, like olive oil and different things. And it has some clove or some spices in mm -hmm. it, like some essential oils. And he just swishes it in his mouth while he showers. And then he just spits it out in the shower. And it's supposed to like pull all the stuff that flossing can't get. And it's, it's good at whitening really your teeth too. too. Yeah. I love and I love my water I love The problem water is, is I've tried it. I've done it a few times. But I'll try the it's clove. It's just nasty because you're yeah, swishing oil. this oil around your mouth and you're trying to take a shower because it is a logical place. But it's like five. You're supposed to do it for like ten minutes. And I'm Whoa, I get tired. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you know, like ten minutes in, and then I start tripping out about the pipes because then I spit the oil in the in the pipes and I'm like, is that gonna clog it? And I start tripping She's out. She's getting in her head. So, I love yeah, it. it's I a love problem. It. So. Okay, so flossing, you're classy. We're all We're nasty. disgusting. Get a water pick. Life changing. Yeah, I, yeah, I love my water one. pick. Okay, my next dentist one. loved me afterwards. Do you wash your hands after changing diapers? Oh, heck yeah. Yes. Hell no. Hell no. I've, been, I've had two kids in diapers the past two years, and I'm doing that every 30 I minutes. Like I, I don't wash my hands. You are going to lose so many friends after this episode. <laughs> Am I? I'm just going to I'm never going to shake your hand again. But it's That's not like, sure. I feel like it's not like, it's like something if I'm like, there, I go and do it, but it's not like something I do every time. Yeah. What about like putting hand sanitizer next to yeah. the diaper? I do have hand sanitizer that next to it, but I don't, still always don't do it. Okay. Like, if I think about it, like, I do my hand sanitizer. I take 50% <laughs> when I have it. Bye. 50%? Yeah. Okay. I'll say I'm like an 80%. How many diapers are you changing a day? But I haven't changed diapers forever, so I don't know. I don't know, five a day. Okay. I'm a germ freak, though. Like I, I feel like I can, f I can feel them. Okay. On my next hands. question, though. They're not all poop. No, and to me, like yeah. pee diapers are different than poop diapers. Yeah. Like For as sure. long as you please wash your hands after the poop diapers. But I, feel, then I will not call you nasty. But I feel nasty. like I, I am so good at it now that I don't <laughs> even touch bare skin with my hands. What? Do you wash your no. Do you wash your hands after you go to the bathroom? A hundred percent no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> I just said a hundred percent no. Oh, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> did you not hear what you just said? No, of course. But you actually want to know what my biggest secret Oops, sorry. is? So from the age oh, of like know. I don't eight to like fifteen, I hated washing my hands. Kids do. Why? Though. I don't know. It was like a texture thing that I would go into bathrooms and turn it on and make the sound. Just to make my mom believe or my friends believe that what? I washed my hands, but I I could. Kids not. hate doing that. Like yeah, you have my, to remind so, them. My five-year-old hates washing. They have yeah. the, a messed up logic about it too. Like I had to tell my kids this because I'll have the kid. One of my kids will walk out of the bathroom and I'm like, "Did you wash your hands?" And they're like, "I didn't touch it," because they're boys, right? So they yeah. can be like, right? Yeah. right? <laughs> um, and I'm like, okay. Let's, let's talk about this. We do not wash our hands in the bathroom because we touched it. You touched stuff all day long that have bacteria. You wash your hands when you go to the bathroom because there's a sink there and it's a perfect opportunity right to wash your hands. Whether you touched anything or not because yeah. you're washing off all the other stuff that you washed. Yeah. And it was like, ding. Woo. Now, has it completely changed their behavior and they always wash their hands? No, no. no. But you should have seen their eyes when they thought about it. And I don't even know if a lot of adults really think about that. That's like, true, yeah. You I, wash your hands from all the other stuff you've been touching all day. It's just that there's a sink there, so just do it. Well, I have a huge sign. Every time I leave the gym, though. <laughs> in my, yeah. Ugh. I have to wash my hands. So I, my kids know as soon as they walk in the door from school, they go straight to the bathroom to wash their hands. Like, yeah, they are programmed. That's and good. And, like, soon, if I drive the car, like, even if I drive a kid to the neighbor's house, you know, you know, just down the street, I come back and I wash my hands. Like, I always wash my hands. I have a huge sign in my bathroom that says, say your prayers and wash your hands because <laughs> Jesus and that. germs are everywhere. Oh, my God, uh, I love that. Oh. It's like, I need this. Did you get this my kids, hobby? My kids are programmed. That would be like it. what you got tattooed on I your spine. <laughs> Jesus and germs are everywhere. <laughs> okay, my kids I, are well, programmed when they get home. Made, like I got a custom Oh, like an Etsy That's thing? Adorable. I'm going to need yeah. that. Yeah, my my okay. kids are programmed when they get home. They know too because they wear a uniform, but they like get undressed, put clothes in dirty clothes, wash their hands, okay. and then change. So yeah. it's kind of like. I don't wash my hands every time I change diapers, but I do yeah. have hand sanitizer, and I'd say 50% of the time. Okay. I'm at 80%. You're not nasty then. She's still. Do. 
I'm not, I'm not gonna do your friends after this. It's I okay. You really and I are, are really close but you know to the, what? I am the nasty. I'm honest, even knowing it puts a bad light on myself. Hey, I'm with okay, you. Okay, here we go. Do Which you one? have, or excuse me, do you shower after having sex? No. Remember, Brittany paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brittany, <laughs> Brittany can't move, so she definitely doesn't <laughs> take one. Did you ever share that video? I don't know. I don't know. There were some things I didn't video. share in that video because there were some things like my unicorn stuff that I was like, you know Wait, what? Wait, you can't. cut that out? Yeah, there's yeah, still, still, still have stuff. Tons of stuff. I never shared that we didn't it. There's post. still some good footage in there, but what? I was like, you know why? I'm going to be honest. Oh this is the reason God. why. And I, anybody who's watching, there's something that I shared that was very personal. I can't even remember. But the reason why I don't is because there's two guys that follow the Brave Talk Show who I know, and they like, oh. they like, and they comment, and they even comment on the stories. and. I just feel really uncomfortable oh. with them knowing that about me. So okay. I, that's the reason why I haven't shared it. Okay. I wish I wish I could on Instagram like block. You can. You can. Oh, can you, you can when you post stories, you can like withhold block. Them from certain okay. people. Some people hide them from That's good to know. People. Okay, but well maybe you, then I will share it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but you know I'm not showering after. Yeah, she doesn't Her shower. Her legs are locked out. I pee after sex because I, I get too. I get UTIs. Uh, UTIs if yeah. if not, but that's it. I don't need to shower. Yeah, I try that. to. That's one thing I learn. No, my body. It's like I don't get UTI, but I, I know like that's a clean cleansing. So I always make sure I go to the bathroom after. Yeah. We, 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 we have, have a sex towel. And I I was gonna say I always clean. Like, but the sex wipe. towel cleans on the outside. It doesn't it's clean in what's the in the urethra. Yeah. I have the bidet for after too. I okay. Oh, that's yeah. Oh yeah. And we're talking about the day. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Okay. okay. Um, <clears throat> Do you share? Wait, yes. are we nasty? Oh, no, I don't. We're all, we're all nasty. We're all nasty. I don't all shower nasty. after sex. You're supposed to? I don't know. Next shower To me, it question. sounds classy to shower yeah, after sex. Yeah, it sounds like so it It sounds like we're pretty nasty. We're pretty nasty. Classy there. Do you pee in the shower? Oh, heck yes. yeah. Absolutely. You don't want that the athlete's warm. warm. <laughs> it's like the first thing you learn when you're 10, pee on your feet. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have to admit, I've never had athlete's foot. So. I never have either. Now, here's the second question. Have you ever peed in the shower with your spouse in the shower? Yes, every time. No. Oh, what? I have. Oh, every time. No. I have, and I've tried to do it like quietly, like let it trickle out real slowly oh, so that he doesn't free. see it. Or what? So. Me and Johnny both just pee in the shower together. Uh <laughs> We do. I don't, I don't take double showers. It's I think what? I can count on you yes. don't take double showers mm -hmm. for someone who has sex as much as you. You don't like mm -hmm. shower stuff, guys. For the first like five years like of our marriage, the only times. time awesome. we took showers was together. Like it was always together. No, yeah, the shower sex is so good. No, I I feel like I look Spice like a drowned Brittany. rat. Like I don't feel attractive. Spice you can get the wall. Like, you can get the wall rat. involved. The wall is so cute. We'll go into the bathroom and we can do it in the shower, but the water's not gonna be running. But it's so you hot. The water's oh, running. The and the wall. You're telling me, Brittany. sex queen, you have never had hot. CV shower sex. Yes, I have, but it's not. Do you have the like foot four area? Four times in your is life. A, yeah. Is there a no. seating area in your that shower? That needs to be no. weekly okay. rotation. So get yeah, tub get a new shower, shower that's shower bigger. Sex. Get a like seating area. Sex. Wall. Foot on the seating area. Yes. Yeah. Hot water. Hot water. You water. guys know what I'm talking about. So wait, are you all drowned in the water? Or no, you change. You? you put the you put the, the the, the shower head dry. so that it's going it on the body, but not your head. We have a steam shower, so that's the next level. You push oh steam against the can you see in front of you. It's Ooh. like a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what She's to like, grab. She's like, I'm looking <laughs> for something here. <laughs> it's a sensory <laughs> experience. A shower. My shower's big. It's like I need a big shower. Eight feet by eight. It better be big. What? I've seen your house. It's, it's, a, it's a steam room. Is our shower? Oh, oh, that's nice. our yeah. next. Our next it's time, Marco is going to be our shower. Oh, you're feeling. You have to come try it out. Yeah. Okay, so oh my we're all nice. Well. I think I'm the most nastiest because I'll pee with my husband in the shower. But I, I kind of am as nasty because I'll pee without him knowing. I'm just Poor like so Owen. open that I'm like, sorry, Owen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. And you are a no? I've done it, but it's, yeah. Wait, it's yeah. not like a habit. Okay. It's not like every time. Oh, my husband would freak. But we, like, I want to see that on footage. <laughs> Get a hidden camera, please. <laughs> But I also like it because it's like, wash my bag. <laughs> like, I feel like it's cool because it's like, okay, my bag. Like, it really, I love it. I love, I love doing it. I can't love see. Okay. Well, I'm excited to hear all of this excitement for sex out of I you know, guys. exactly. You, you just need to try it. Shower. But just make sure anyone involved signing liability waivers. If you slip, break a leg, roll it. <laughs> <laughs> the one of those Everyone's mats on the bottom, safe. the like slip mats are, are a good thing. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we have three so more questions. Funny. Do you brush your tongue? Oh, heck yes. Yes. Have you? Yeah, of course, yes. Have you seen those copper ones, though, that you're like, yeah, that's very Oh, cool. I don't do that. Oh, no. Or, or what? a brush. What's Have a copper one? Brush? Oh, yeah, I've seen those. It's like this, like, it's like a U, and it's like a ship. piece of copper. And you and just slide it on your tongue, tongue. And it, like, it's like a tongue scraper. Out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I broke up with a guy 
once when I found out he didn't brush his tongue. I was so disgusted by the thought of French kissing him. For real. I was like, so he came over to pick me up on a date. I'm like, okay, I'm not quite done yet. And he was like watching me as I like finish up. I'm like brushing my tongue, like, "Eh, eh," you know, like, he's like, what are you doing? I'm like brushing my tongue. He's like, you brush your tongue? And I'm like, you don't? And he was like, no. That's the last date. And that was the last date I went on with him. Shut done. up. I I was disgusted. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait, let's go back to this. Have you ever shared a toothbrush with your spouse? Accidentally. And I was like appalled once once it happened. I did it accidentally. And Yahoo's Yahoo's is like a germaphobic. So like he's very like, even sharing his drink is very like, I'm like, can I have your drink? He's like, use your own straw. I'm like, really? Dude, you kiss me all the time. Like, but yeah, I, and I did it once, and he was like so mad at me. He was like, "How could you? How could, How could you? you?" So I don't. So you don't only because of relationship consequences. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. You guys. All right, nasty girl. You guys. Do you, what do you do with this? Every people? night. <laughs> Not they every only night. have one. They only no, have no. one. <laughs> so there was a point in time I don't know why we shared a toothbrush. And I was convinced I got secondhand tobacco poisoning <laughs> from my husband because at the time he was chewing tobacco. But why were you sharing the toothbrush? I didn't, I don't know. I it's can't remember, I but it was like for a period of time, like maybe like a month or something. Oh my gosh. Really like 99 cents. Right? I know, I don't know why. Like where, were we trapped on an island? I don't know why we did that. Maybe you like, we like, oh my gosh, it was your own toothbrush. I'm, I'm so sick. No, we knew. I think maybe it was like this brand new ultrasonic. I don't, I cannot remember. For the life of me, I would never do it. But I remember... Actually, it's like really weird. Maybe it, it's kind of like how I found out he was chewing tobacco. Anyways, I don't. So you put it in happening. your mouth and it tasted like no, tobacco? No, I just had. I don't remember. Another story. But anyways, I literally thought that maybe I was getting like secondhand smoke. From, anyways, no. That's hilarious. I've done it once. Okay. I don't yeah. know. I don't once, know why I did that. Once. I did it once when we were engaged, and it was on accident. No, I can't remember. No. What was it? Gosh, I should have thought of this before I said, oh, I remember I needed to brush my teeth at his apartment before we were going out. And he's like, just use my tooth. And I was like, no, like, and he's like, we're getting married. Like, what are you talking about? Just use my tooth. And I was like, no. No. And then one time when we were married, I accidentally used it and he let me have it. He was teasing me so bad. He was like, look at you. Now you use my toothbrush. And I'm like, it's still so gross. You're on a girl's trip. You're at a girl's retreat. Someone comes up to you and says, hey, I forgot my toothbrush. Can I use yours? Oh, hell no. What do you no. say? No. no. Use your finger and some toothpaste. And you can borrow toothpaste. my toothpaste and go swish it around your mouth like I'll a tra- like I'll drive you to the store. Mouth wash. Yeah, yeah no Ain't way. Ain't going to happen. No. Nope. Okay. I don't even like it. What about like, you? You're going to let somebody? Yeah, you? yeah. What friends you let use your toothbrush? Well, just this weekend, I had that happen to me. <laughs> Did you let them borrow your toothbrush? Let them have it. And then I just didn't brush my teeth the rest of the oh, week. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Well, at least she didn't let. Who has the balls? She didn't to ask. I know. My really good friend. She's gonna watch this. <laughs> <laughs> well, friend, you got some balls to ask. Yeah, you know, to I was brush. happy. To we got a nasty her. score on you, friend. I was happy friend. to serve her. Yeah, I should have been like, what the heck is wrong with you, letting somebody uh, using your toothbrush? I just, if somebody asked I me actually that, I would thought be like, about. I actually thought about saying no, and then I was like, you know what? She needs it more than me. She can have it, and I just. I just and is this is this your, your six months? The fact that brush? she did ask shows yeah, that she didn't need it. And she's gonna find out you didn't change your toothbrush for six no, months. No, she's gonna get secondhand tobacco. <laughs> oh, yeah, get third hand. Yeah. <laughs> and okay. Johnny used that toothbrush too. Does yeah, she know that? Right, exactly. <laughs> okay, how often do you wash your bras? Oh gosh. Okay, so we answered, we did this on Instagram. I only wash my bras like twice a, a year, probably. But I felt really guilty for I it. I missed this? But yes. You, twice a year? Yeah, but listen, listen, I oh, felt really bad okay. about myself. But then, you but then the I whole... came up with an excuse, yeah. okay? So I wear some religious garments. Got it. So my bra really never know. touches my skin. Mm-hmm. And mm. I hardly ever wear a bra. Yeah. Like if I wear a bra, it's like. Like, I don't even wear a bra going out, like, to the grocery store. Like, I don't wear a bra So, anywhere. on a typical week, how often do you wear a bra? <sighs> Twice. All day or only part of the day? Part of the day. Like, wow. I'll wear it Sunday for church. If I ever am at night and I, have, I still have a bra on, I'm like, what am I doing? Like, I hate Ben's like, how are you still wearing a bra? Like, now, what about so exercising? Like sports bras? Yeah. Even sports bras. Like, so I shower and I take them oh, off. Oh, yeah, she showers. Oh, she showers. Okay. See, I'm in my sports bra for three days until I... Just kidding. And that's the thing. Okay, so I don't shower as often as you, so I wash my bras. So this is how I kind of, like, justify things, right? Like, <laughs> I wash my bra once a week. Oh, mm, that's good. That's classy. All right. Wow. Well, it makes up for my nasty showers. Yeah. So there we go. That's so super classy. I, this is actually... 
funny. So before I got my breast reduction, I had all underwire bras, right? And I didn't wash those as much, probably like every couple months. But since my breast reduction, I am not allowed to wear underwire bras right now. So I'm just wearing like cotton or spandex like bralettes. And mm -hmm. I wash those with my wash. Like, so they're getting, I always have a clean bra. Because I have like 30 of those versus like. Look at you getting in the classy yeah, side. I know, that's Look at classy. you. Versus like my <laughs> underwire bras. You know, those were like 80 bucks a pop. Oh, so you yeah. only have three or four of those bras. But I have yeah. probably 20 If you ever stuff. sweat in a bra, then I for sure wash but it. But if it was like a clean day, no sweating, yeah. why wash it? And you know, you that makes sense. And I'll do that too. Like yeah, once a week, but if I yeah. sweated, then it's no, that day. It's too much. You know what I mean? So it might exactly. even be more. But I'm going to get my little thing here. Just a side note. Underwires are from the devil. They okay. Are. I never will and wear them again. And I... I, I was having, wire. remember how I was complaining a while back? I don't know if you guys remember about my white boob always hurting. Yeah. I stopped wearing an underwire bra. Pain has gone. Really? It was my That's underwire <laughs> that was causing my pain. My underwire oh, always prayers. would put like rashes, divots, pain. I hate underwire. Now that I have a reduction, I don't have to actually have that support. really a lot of support. <laughs> I'm loving my cotton bralettes and like my spandex type stuff. I hate under. I I will burn it. I oh yeah, it so much. I'm done. I am now yeah. like I will I'm only like look now for uh, I'm like no Brittany. underwear. Like unless I'm even like if I'm picking up school, I don't have to get out of my car. I got no bra. So no bra now. and no underwear. Man, I be in, you live in a life. Free spirit. I be I be in. She's free. Free. I be sitting here working. <laughs> and, I be like I be working in meetings. You can't. You only see like a chin up. So I'm like my face is all pretty. Oh, yeah. I love it. I hate bras. It's hey, the worst. Burn last burn question. Burn when you get new clothes from the store or online, do you wash them before you wear them? No. I wash my kids. I don't wash them. No. I don't wash mine. No, but I don't wash them. Does that make us nasty? I think it does, does according it? to these polls. I do the babies. <laughs> Probably yeah, for sure babies. <laughs> the babies. Yeah, stuff. oh, babies for sure. But my kids, I don't even, here you go. I'm like <laughs> straight out of the, it's like, it's been a long time since I've had a baby, but I, get, I think I do remember the rule, like you're supposed to wash the like baby dress. clothes. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. But the time I got my like third boy, my third baby was wearing the same clothes as the right. second and the, because I had three boys in a new. row. Right. Poor Benjamin, like he never, he's never had like one brand new thing ever. I think I these are all good questions. questions. I think yeah. these are good questions. No, it's good. I think. I'm more nasty I think, than I thought. I think I'm the nastiest. <laughs> I think so too. I think so. Then it probably goes Vanessa. Then third, then and then you're the classiest. Well, we, all, we all would know Brittany would be the classiest. Look at her. Come on, look at her. Look how she, so you know classy. what? Somebody, when we were talking about the show, they were like, they were talking to me about the show, and they were like, oh, the sweet one. And I, and I knew exactly, I knew exactly. right away that they were talking about Brittany, and so now I want to know, like, what are the names you have for us? So like, is she the one, sweet one? Am I the one that always sticks my foot in my mouth? The loud one. The crier. <laughs> I'm the crier. The crier, the loud, the loud one. one. The nasty one? The nasty, the annoying, the loud. The one brutally honest. One. honest. The researcher. Somebody said that. Somebody said. You always have all the experience, too. Like, I feel like when I was in the OR, when I was in the courtroom, <laughs> no. when so I was in the You were the smart one. one. Like, what are you saying? I know, like. My family yeah. said that too. I've worked so many jobs. Like I did the psych hospital. I've worked at Discover yeah. Card. I was at Discover mm -hmm. Card for like five years. Now so I did like a, yeah. all the bank surgery. stuff. I did she all the bank all. stuff. And you also are the one that's always like, hey, and just for you to know, audience, if you do this, it's okay. Like you're big on like making sure that there's like said, no guilt, no shame. No guilt, no shame. And I'm like, if you do, you're freaking disgusting. <laughs> no, leave it in the comments if it's you. <laughs> I was at the store and somebody says, I know you. And I was like, me, because usually it's like your host. Like everywhere we go, everybody know your host. Yeah. So I'm always like, but I'm like, me, it's like, yeah, you guys are brave talk show. So Aww. you have the blonde, she's so cute. I love You're her. The cute, sweet it's one. sweet. And then you have the Colombian one, she's spicy. <laughs> and then they're like, and Robin? Oh, no. oh my gosh. Oh, no, what she say? is awesome. Can I be her friend? And everybody like, wants to be your friend. Everybody wants to be your friend. I know. And then they said, in you, you always like, always make us feel good. And I'm like, oh, thanks. Okay. Yeah. See? We are so perfect together. Oh, yeah. yeah. We are good yeah. together. Yeah. We are great. so good. Okay, well, audience, we want you to take the quiz. We want to let, let you, know. we want you to comment, are you classy? Are you nasty? Yes. Maybe more people are nasty than we think, or maybe <laughs> everyone's classy and not us. Thank you for joining our Brave Conversation. Yes, and if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification so that you don't miss our next episode. Ready for more? Click on the next video for more Brave Conversation. Have some brave topics you'd like us to discuss? Leave your suggestions below. We'd love to hear from you. See, See you, you next week. week. Hey, brave girl.